The magic of editing. <laughs> Where did one rule end and another begin? So. <laughs> it's, uh, but, yeah, what people don't know is from the same episode. <laughs> <laughs> seamless, that was seamless. I thought so. So we've got bits there from uh, The Unforgotten and obviously, goodness gracious me, and we were just talking before we came on mm. in there, nearly 20 years ago it all started. Don't say that. You'll make, you'll make people feel old. <laughs> you know. incredible? Me, I don't feel old. But uh... Well, it still feels very relevant. Yeah. And is it on the horizon? Is there a chance that it might come back? There is a chance, yeah. I mean, we, we are having conversations about it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's it, you know, it was a satirical programme, and I think that uh, right now we could do with some satire, so uh, it may be timely. Seeing you on our screens as a TV detective, D.I. Sonny. But like all, you know, these classic detectives, they all have something, don't they, that they're defined by. You've got Columbo with his yeah. raincoat. That's right. You've got Sherlock Holmes with his hat. Yeah. And you've got you with uh, your rucksack. That's right. You know, this is an interesting one. What's all this about? Well, it was uh, on the first series, uh, you, you know, obviously I just needed something to, to carry stuff around in, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is what a bag or rucksack <laughs> is used <laughs> for. Um, you know, stuff like, but, like this? Well, <laughs> the reason yeah, that... This? So this year... <laughs> What's going on there here? Was, uh, so that's come directly from my house, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sure, you're wrong, um, these You can only see you know. that foot. The other foot has kind of it's got <laughs> one of those on. Um, and so there was a lot of speculation online last year about what I keep in my rucksack. People's and so I asked, I asked the costume people to kind of just fill it with stuff and surprise me. So each week, I just... I don't know what's in it until what's I start in the filming. Bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> Great. Well, uh, Unforgotten is back on Thursday on ITV. A man who went missing in the 90s. But the interesting thing with this is it seems to kind of encompass lots of different genres of yeah. drama, because there we saw you in a very domesticated situation yeah, that's right. as well. But... Well, I think, I mean, you know, the fun thing about detective shows is that uh, the audience is the detective. Mm -hmm. You know, we discover the clues at the same time as the tele-detectives do. The twists are twists for us as it is as they are for them. Uh, so that's the fun bit. And I think what I really liked about this show, first series and this one, is that, uh, and this is Chris Lang uh, who gets the credit, but it's really four dramas hidden within an who done it? So, you know, we do want to find out who was the, you know, perpetrator at the end. Yeah. But along the way, there are these four stories that not only just look at who may be involved, but also the impact of a crime, you know, the, mm. on the families as mm -hmm. well. Because mm -hmm. particularly with historical crime, in this case, as you said, it was the 90s. You know, there are kind of 20 years of people having built lives, built respectability, and it's a house of cards. So yeah. that knock on the door that says, um, we want to talk to you about yeah. this person, yeah. the whole foundation crumbles. Now, I, sorry, but I want to go back to this bag. You know, this is a Don't key, we all? This is a key part of your yeah. character, Sanjeev. So it is. Let's, let's have a look what else is in here. We've got oh. um, a signed Roger Moore picture frame. Uh. <laughs> yes, I've got now, this relating to. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I, I am actually Roger Moore. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is uh, in a bid to work, um, work more, and um, Roger more. Um, Roger, he's not uh, a fan of the show. Isn't well, he kind of he emailed me uh, to tell me how much he enjoyed the first series and to say well done. And he's one of my, one of my absolute heroes. I mean, it's uh, I had a, a James Bond poster on my wall when I was when I was a kid, the Roger Moore one. So to, to hear from him is just thrilling. That is pretty cool. Isn't it, it is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Huge congratulations. Well, it, it does continue as we said Thursday. Now. Uh,